So we've got the elephant garlic, which we saved from last year. Got quite a lot, which uh, we've uh, managed to save. As you can see, we've got some really nice sized cloves, which we'll get into the, uh, the ground. So you can see those. But yeah, we'll uh, plant these as we go. And we'll get these dropped in. Some really nice sized cloves here. Don't forget, you've got to get them the right way up. Try and choose your big old cloves just to try and help with the uh, sort of selection of propagating the bigger ones as you go. Now, I was really impressed with this last year, the elephant garlic. So I'm hopeful that I should get a decent harvest this year. I'd say we're probably planting these about twice the depth of the bulbs or the uh, cloves. Try and get them the right way up. Absolute dob of that one. Get and so weed a few of these as you go. Must be about what? So I've got three rows. Twenty-three times three. I don't need to water any of these in. The ground's quite moist as it is. That's the elephant garlic in. Now we seem to do really well with the elephant garlic, so I'm really happy with that. We'll do a small space. I'm going to get rid of that compost bin that you're on at the minute. And clear that other side of the bed and we'll get the uh, rest of the um, onions and garlic in there. That should be enough for autumn sown garlic and onions. This year at least. Um, I think from this point on, obviously I'll try and get the uh, hoe on this as we go through winter, just so we keep the weeds down. Um, then we'll get the lines sorted out where they are, so we don't nip the tops off. But I'll leave those thanks to Mark where I want to have a space between onions and garlic and that's just about enough to get through with garlic it's quite a you know the foliage isn't that big to get weeded in between them but that's a good job